Hello everyone, ARG back, yes, that is true, it is true to me, I am not a different person wearing a mask, and I am going to be doing some more Aki today, so twice in the same day, uh, that is very unusual, isn't it, and no, you are not hallucinating, well, maybe you are, but that part... The stream, the Aki, twice in the same day, that, that's not an hallucination. Now, you know, if you're on um, something, you know, that's you know, that's on you. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, come live here and we're gonna go ahead and play our playoffs. Um, now, those of you that have been watching me for a while, you know that I've been always saying, oh, you know, back in the 80s and the 90s, right, back in my day, blah, 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 blah. But back in my day, in the 80s and the 90s, uh, teams would make the playoffs with losing records, right? I've said that several times, and that's the truth. That's what's going on here. Uh, we're going to be facing the Winnipeg Jets in the first round of the playoffs, and they had a losing record in the regular season. They went 36, 38, and 6. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um... We went 6-2 and two during the season against Winnipeg. Uh, they finished 6th total in the conference. So let's take a look. So we still have Paul Phantom that's out, right? He has 2-3 to three more weeks left to go before he's back in the lineup. But other than that, we have a pretty healthy lineup. Let's take a look at the Jets. All right, so they are going to be without Randy Gillen and Andrew McBain. All right. No more injuries over here. So their lineup for the playoffs is going to be Anishiri and Pokey Redick in net. They are both uh, star and a half goaltenders. Do not discredit that. I've been eliminated in playoffs by far lesser goaltenders than that in previous iterations of the game. So I guess we'll see. Randy Carlisle is uh, one of the Demon Bobby Dolls, Dave Ellett, Nord Mark Teglianis, Mario Marwete Pounumunen, and Frederick Alasson. So they have a pretty decent decor. So their D is not too bad. Up front, they have Brent Ashton, uh, Pat Kanaker, Ian Duncan, Brent Hughes, uh, Doug Smale, Larry Boschman, Dela Wirchuk, Mikhail Pivanka, Thomas Steen, Ron Wilson. Uh, is it Ron? Rich? Ron Wilson, Pat Elenuk, Yarvenpa, and Kumpel up front. Alright, so that's our first matchup. Um, <clears throat> hopefully we can get past the first round. As you know, I made many, many, many trades. Typically, I don't do that many trades in one year. I like to keep my players uh, start to build some chemistry together. But Anyway. All right, well, let's get going. Game one here in LA. Uh, we all know it's gonna be a sellout crowd. The regular season was sellout. Heck, I think the preseason games were, so. All right. Let's go, Kings! Woo! I feel bad for cheering for the kids, uh, the kids, the Kings, because they they beat my sons yesterday. Uh, the sons with a very depleted lineup, uh, thanks to COVID protocols and a few injuries. So they beat us to nothing. All right, um, Alain Chevrier is going to be a net for the Jets. Glenn Ely is going to be a net for us. So it looks like we're going to go with Glenn Ely for the playoffs, or at least for game number one. I don't know what Robbie Thoric is going to be doing for the rest of that series. But anyway, let's go. All right, that's a great start. We won game number one for nothing. Cannot get any prettier than that. Well, I guess a million nothing would be, but, you know, let's be realistic here. 
All right, we outshot the Jets, 41 to 28. Glenn Ely, first star, 28 saves, and the W, of course. Mike Gartner was the second star with a goal and two assists, and Wayne Gretzky was the third star with a goal and an assist. Full crowd, of course. Steve Richmond scored the first goal for the LA Kings in the 1988-1989 playoffs. Uh, probably uh, not the person I would have put money on. From Ray Shepard and Gordonine, and then Wayne Gretzky scored on the power play from Ray Shepard and Mike Gartner. 2 0 Kings after one. Then in the second period, Mike Gartner scored from Wayne Gretzky and Randy Ladusser, then Luke Rabitai from Mike Gartner and Steve Richmond. 4 0 Kings after two. Absolutely nothing happened in the third period, so we ran away with a pretty easy win, all things considered. Right, so we won 4 0. Minnesota beat Detroit 4 3. Calgary beat Edmonton 5 4. Chicago beat Toronto 3 2. Washington got the upper hand 5 2 against the Flyers. Montreal beat Boston 4 3. Pittsburgh beat New York 5 2. And the Whalers beat Buffalo 5 3. Oh, that's gonna hurt the Penguins. Paul Coffey is hurt. Nine weeks with a broken hematic bone in his wrist. Oh, yeah, that's that, that's not good for Pittsburgh. All right, so we're up one nothing in the series, facing the Jets still, and we are still at home. So. I was going to click on the news button. Wouldn't be doing anything. There's no news. I am too nervous. All right, so Alain Chevrier in net, Glenn Ely in net. So the same two goaltenders are going to be facing each other. Of course, Glenn Ely is going back. He had a shutout in game number one. Oh, game number two was a little bit tighter, but we won anyway. We won 4-3 this time. So a one-goal game. And we're up 2-0 in the series. We outshot Winnipeg 40-22. Wayne Gretzky was the first star of the game. He participated to all four goals. Two goals and two assists for him. Thomas Steen was the second star with two goals. And Luke Rebitai was the third star with two assists. Set out crowd yet again. Uh, Winnipeg scored first in the first period. It was 1-0 Winnipeg after one, and then they scored again at the start of the second. They were up 2-0, but then we tied the game. Ray Shepard scored from Wayne Gretzky and Scott Harneal, then Randy Ladusser from Wayne Gretzky and Luke Robitaille. It was tied at two at that point. We, had, we headed into the third period. Wayne Gretzky gave us the lead, uh, short-handed, from Scott Arneal and Randy Ladusser. It was 3-2, but then the Jets scored on that power play that we scored a short-handed goal on, I believe. Yes. So it was tied at 3, and then Wayne Gretzky played the hero uh, with... 11.29 left to go in the third there, there was quite a bit of time left uh, he scored from Jim Fox and Luke Robita. it was 4-3 for the Kings and that remained uh, like that, there was even a fight between Gerald the Duck and Ian Duncan alright ooh, looks like Denis Savard had a, a great playoff game uh, 4 assists against Toronto Alright, let's look at the other scores. Detroit tied their series with uh, Minnesota, they won 3-2. Edmonton tied their series as well, they won 5-4. Toronto beat Chicago 6-5. Philadelphia tied their series by, with a 5-2 win. Montreal beat Boston 1-0. Wow, it doesn't get more playoff-like than a 1-0 game. Well. In today's NHL, back then, there was still quite a bit of scoring in the, in the playoffs. I don't quite remember if like the scoring would would be less during the playoffs than in the regular season. I wasn't really paying attention to that kind of stuff when I was a kid. 
so I would have to look it up. Uh, Rangers beat Pittsburgh 3-2 and Hartford took a 2-0 lead in their series 3-1 win over Buffalo. Let's go Waiters! Oh, Dean Kennedy is hurt. Alright, we're gonna need to... Uh, one to two weeks, huh? Alright, we're gonna need to take care of that. Dean Kennedy, you're going to the injury list. We're gonna recall somebody. I don't know who. Oh, we have Le Le Tom Laidlaw that I can recall. Alright, Tom Laidlaw, you are being recalled to come and play in the playoffs. Maybe. I don't know if the coach is gonna use you. Alright, so the series shifts to Winnipeg. We are going to be playing in Winnipeg against the Jets, of course. Uh, we are up to nothing in that series. So let's see if we can win this yet again. Oh, Layla is playing. Alright, Glenn Ely in net for us. So Alain Chevrier in net. Uh, so for the Jets. Go Kings go! Another 4 nothing victory for the Kings. Wow, Glenn Ely is playing remarkable hockey here. There weren't that many shutouts back uh, in the 80s. The offense was way too strong for every team. So we outshot Winnipeg 46 to 27. Glenn Ely, first star again, 27 saves, and the W second shutout of the series. And we are up 3-0, by the way. Uh, Randy Ladusser was the second star with two assists, and Gerald the Duck was the third star with a goal and an assist. Right, Ray Shepard opened up the scoring in the first from Mike Krushelinski and Gerald the Duck. Then Gerald the Duck scored from Randy Ladusser and Jim Fox. 2-0 Kings after one. There was a fight between Mario Marois and Marty McSorley. Then in the second period, Chris Conto scored from Randy Wood and Randy Ledusser. Then Mike Gartner from Luke Robitaille and Mike Ridley. 4-0 for the Kings. There was another fight between Ian Duncan and Marty McSorley. Then nothing happened in the third period, so another 4-0 victory for the Jets. No, no, not the Jets, for the Kings. Us. Oh, so Scott Young got suspended with the Waiters. He's going to miss one game. And there was no stopping Mark Messier. He had four goals and an assist against the Flames. All right, so the other scores. <clears throat> uh, Minnesota beat Detroit 4-2. Edmonton beat Calgary 6-5. Chicago beat Toronto 5-1, Philadelphia beat Washington 2-1, Boston came back in their series against Montreal with a 6-4 victory, Pittsburgh beat New York 6-3, and Hartford beat Buffalo 3-2, Hartford is also up 3-0 in their series, go Waiters! Alright, so we have a chance right now to sweep the Jets. Um, playing in Winnipeg, we're up 3 nothing. so of course a win and the series is over. It's a 4 out of 7 in case you're not super familiar with Aki, so one more win and it's Oba. Alright, Glenn Ely and Anne Chevrier still in net, so that's not changing. And we won 4-2. All right, so we are moving on to the next round. We're going to be facing off against the winner of the Edmonton Calgary series. If my recollection of how the playoff format was back then is correct, which I think it is, maybe. Do not put money on that. All right, so... We swept the Jets. Uh, we outshot them 48-28 in game number four. Mike Gartner was the first of the game. He had two goals. Kumpel was the second star with an assist. And Wayne Gretzky was the third star with a goal and an assist. 
Gretzky open up the scoring in the first from Gordonin and Luke Robitaille, one nothing Kings. Then in the second period, the Jets scored twice and they were actually up 2-1 to one after two. So I'm sure there was some positivity in that locker room after uh, uh, period number two. But then in the third, Mike Gartner tied the game only 21 seconds into the third period from Luke Robitaille and Gerald Deduck. Then Mike Gartner scored on the power play from Wayne Gretzky and Gary Galley. And then Jim Fox from Mike Krushelinski and Gary Galley. 4-2 victory. Uh, no further punishment for Brian Scrulan in Montreal, so not being suspended. Scott Young is back from suspension in Hartford. Yiri Erdina is suspended in Calgary. He's going to miss two games. Paul Fenton is maybe feeling better. And John Carter in Boston had an amazing off-season workout regimen. Not sure what uh, what it was, but he's only a one-star player. Maybe he was an alpha-star player before that. I don't know. All right, other scores yesterday. Minnesota lost 5-3 against Detroit. Edmonton beat Calgary 4-3. Toronto beat the Blackhawks 3-2. Washington up 2-1 against Philadelphia. Montreal won 4-1. They are up 3-1 in their series. Uh, Rangers beat Pittsburgh 4-2 and Buffalo finally won a game here so Hartford was not able to deal the, fi the fatal blow they lost 3-2 to the Sabres alright alright Sean Anderson in Buffalo uh, was suspended he's gonna miss three games Mark Lavar with the Flyers is not going to get suspended. He is still going to be in the lineup over there. Great night for Stevie Y. He had four assists against the North Stars. And Boy Salming might retire after this game. He's 37. Not after this game, after this season. He's 37 years old. Guess we will see. All right. Oh. Uh, the other games. Okay, so Detroit beat Minnesota 6-3. Toronto beat Chicago 4-1. Calgary is still alive. They won 4-1 against Edmonton. Philadelphia trounced Washington 7-2. Buffalo finally got uh, eliminated. Hartford won 3-2. Boston is still alive. They beat the Habs 4-2. And Pittsburgh beat the Rangers 4-3. Right. Oh, Stefan Richer is suspended in Montreal. He's gonna miss five games. What did he do? Did he kill someone? This is playoffs hockey. They they don't give lengthy suspensions in the playoffs. Suspension for Philadelphia's John Cordick. Oh, I guess that Cordick got picked up because he was put on waivers. So John Cordick ended up with the Flyers. He's going to miss three games. And Yiri Ardina in Calgary is back from suspension. Uh, Detroit beat Minnesota 4 0. Edmonton, I believe, just eliminated Calgary. Yeah, I'm going to be facing the Oilers next. Uh, Toronto beat Chicago 2 1. Pittsburgh beat New York 4-2, Montreal beat Boston 5-2, and the Flyers won 3-2 against Washington. If, if I'm seeing my next opponent, that means that the first round is over. So no series made it to seven games. All right, so... And it is as I remembered, so we are facing the Oilers. Toronto and Detroit is going to face up against each other. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh is going to face uh, face off against each other. And then Hartford and Montreal in round number two. So, yeah, go Waiters for sure. I'm a big fan of the Waiters right now. 
All right, so about to play again Sandmanton. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, that series might be a little bit tougher here. We went five and three against them in the regular season, so we had the upper hand overall, but that's all too close for my own comfort. All right, so they have Yari Kuri that's hurt, so he's not gonna be playing, so that's, that's huge for us. And then Randy Gregg is also hurt and he's not gonna be playing, so that's another one. But they have the goaltending Grand Fiore and Andy Moog in net because, yes, the Oilers went and traded back for Andy Moog. They missed him so much. All right, so Randy Gregg, Ken Ammon, Charlie Uddy, Kevin Low, Craig Muni, Jeff Bukeboom, Chris Joseph, Reed Larson, and Steve Smith on D. That's a lot of demon that they're carrying. Then up front, Markland, Craig Simpson, Issa Tikkanen, Martin Gelina, Key Tacton, Craig McTavish, Mark Messier, I believe that's Dave Smith, uh, Glenn Anderson, Kelly Buckberger, I'm not sure who, what, Norma Lacombe, and Kevin McClelland. So there's definitely some uh, firepower there. Should be an interesting series. All right, so the orders are in town. We are facing the facing off against them. Hopefully, we can move past the orders. All right, Bill Ranford is going to be in net for Bill Ranford. What happened? They had Grant Fuhrer and Andy Moog on the lineup. What happened? Well, anyway, we're facing Bill Ranford. We're going to have Glenn Ely in net. Go, Kings, go! Starts with a win. We'll take it. 5-2 victory over the Oilers. We were outshot, however, 33-26, which doesn't surprise me with our D that uh, I have poorly assembled. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, so Wayne Gretzky first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Gerald Deduck was the second star with two assists. And Luke Rabitai was the third star with two assists as well. Full capacity here in Inglewood. Wayne Gretzky opened up the scoring in the first. That was his fifth of the playoffs from Luke Rabitai and Ray Shepard. Then Tom Laidlaw scored from Mike Ridley and Ray Shepard. It was 2 0. Then the order scored. And it was 2 1 LA after one. Then in the second period, Wayne Gretzky scored from Gerald Deduck and Luke Rabitai, made it 3-1, and then the Oilers scored again, made it 3-2, so we were only up one after two. Then there were, there were two fights in period number two. Gordonine fought Kevin McClellan, then Tom Layla fought Jeff Bukeboom. Then in the third period, Scott Arneal scored from Gerald Deduck and Wayne Gretzky, and then Tom Laidlaw scored his second goal of the game in an empty net from Marty McSorley. 5-2 the final score. Another fight as well. Gerald Deduck fought Essa Tikkanen. And we are up 1-0 in our series. Now let's see who else won. Dean Kennedy might be coming back soon. Uh, Toronto beat Detroit 3-1, Montreal beat Hartford 5-3, and Philadelphia beat Pittsburgh 4-1. <clears throat> right, Dean Kennedy is almost back. All right. Game number two. Alright, so we are hosting the Oilers again. Bill Ranford in net for the Oilers again. Glenn Ely, of course, for us. That's another 5 2 victory, so we're up 2 0 in our series against the Oilers. Right, so Edmonton outshot us again, 37 to 24. Glenn Ely is keeping us into those games. I like it. Wayne Gretzky was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Gary Galley was the second star with an assist, and Mike Ridley was the third star with a goal and an assist. Full attendance yet again. No, 
no scoring in the first period, and then in the second, Scott Arney will open up the scoring from Mike Ridley and Gary Galley, then Edmonton tied the game, and then Wayne Gretzky scored from Mike Gartner, it was 2-1, to one, LA after 2. Then in the third period, Wayne Gretzky scored again from Ray Shepard and Scott Arneal, made it 3-1. Then Mike Ridley from Marty McSorley and Tom Laidlaw made it 4-1. The Oilers scored, made it 4-2, but then Randy Wood scored from Dan Gratton and Paul Gay, and it was a 5-2 victory for the Kings. All right, so we took a 2-0 lead into the series as well. Right, for the other scores, Toronto beat Detroit 4-0, Montreal beat Hartford 6-2, and Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia 4-1. Oh, Dean Kennedy is ready to come back, so I might just do that. Oh, nobody has to clear waivers. Cool. So I guess I can send Steve Richmond down. All right, so game three of the series. We are going to be in Edmonton this time. So let's see if we can continue to be perfect during our playoff run. Glenn Ely is going to be our goaltender. Bill Ranford is going to be the goaltender for the orders. Go Kings! Oh, we lost 6-3. Oh, all right. So we're still up to the one in the series, but uh, yeah, that one was not uh, was not great. All right. So the Oilers outshot us again, forty-two to thirty-two. Mark Messier was the first star of the game. He had three goals and two assists. Essa Tikkanen was the second star with two goals and an assist, and Glenn Anderson was the third star with three assists. All right, so we took a we actually took a two nothing lead into that game. Wayne Gretzky scored from Luke Robitaille and Mike Gartner, then Ray Shepard from Tom Laidla and Mike Ridley. But then the Oilers scored. It was two to one Kings after one. We even took a three to one lead with Mike Gartner scoring his fifth from Randy Ladouceur and Luke Robitaille. But then the Oilers scored twice, tied the game. It was tied at three after two. And then in the third period, the, the Oilers scored three unanswered goals and they ran away with a 6-3 victory. So we are not perfect in the playoffs anymore. Oh, 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 that might be why we lost. Glenn Ely is hurt. Goaltenders almost never get hurt in this game. Oh, that's not good. One to two weeks. Mark Messi has a great game as we saw three goals and two assists and John Cordick's suspension ends and I have oh my god. We're gonna have to finish we're gonna have to finish with Rody Melanson. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna recall Mark Fitzpatrick. Yeah, you didn't play all season. Welcome to the playoffs, buddy. Right, other scores, uh, Detroit beat Toronto 3-2, Montreal beat Hartford 6-2, and Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia 3-1. The Whalers are down 0-3 in their series. Oh, I was such a fan, too. All right, so playing against the Oilers on the road again. So we're going with Rody Melanson. Hopefully he can hold down the fort. Bill Ranford is going to be in net for the orders. Let's go, Kings. Oh, we won 2-1. to one. What a nail-biter. 2-1 victory. All 
right, uh, Mark Messier open up the scoring in the first place. Oh god, I'm I'm jumping a gun here. Alright, so we finally outshot the orders for the first time of the series, 33 to 25. The first star of the game was Mike Ridley with an assist, second star was Mark Messi with a goal, and then Randy Ladusser was the third star with a goal as well. So Mark Messi opened up the scoring in the first, and then Mike Gartner tied the game from Wayne Gretzky and Tom Layla. It was tied at one after one. And it, it lasted like that all the way until the third period, with 11.50 left to go into the third period. Randy Ladusser scored from Scott Arneal and Mike Ridley. 2-1 victory, Randy Ladusser with the game-winning goal here. We are up 3-1 in the series. Vincent Anfus keeps fans on their feet all night. He had four goals and an assist. So we beat Edmonton, Toronto trounced Detroit 9-1, Hartford is still alive, they won 2-1 against Montreal, and Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia 4-2. Right, we're going back home to play against the Oilers for game number 5. Paul Fenton is about to come back. Alright, so yeah, Oilers are in town. We're up 3 to 1. We could eliminate them here with a W. Bill Ranford is still going to be in net for the orders. We're going to go with Rory Melanson. We have the crowd behind us. It's in LA. I'm sure that there's some Hollywood stars somewhere in the stands as well. Go, Kings, go. Yikes! We lost 6 2. We need Glenn Ely back. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. All right, so we were outshot 32 to 29. Craig Simpson was the first star of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Craig McTavish was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Kevin Lowe was the third star with a goal. We had a full crowd that got pretty deflated after this game. Wayne Gretzky, however, had scored 17 seconds into the first period. That was his 10th of the season from Gerald Deduck and Mike Gardner. But then the Oilers tied the game shortly before the period ended. It was tied at one after one. Then Mike Gardner gave us the lead in period number two from Dan Gratton and Luke Rabita. It was 2-1. to one. And then the Oilers scored four answered, unanswered goals. It was 5-2. Then they added one more in the third period and we lost pretty badly. All right, Stefan Aguchet's suspension ended in Montreal. He's going to be back in the lineup over there. Vincent Anfus is now suspended in Toronto. He's going to miss three games. Paul Fenton might be coming back. All right, other scores. Detroit beat Toronto. Hartford beat Montreal again. They are still alive. And Pittsburgh beat Philadelphia. All right, back in Edmonton, we need a win. We need to finish this off now. I don't want to go home for game seven. Come on, guys, you can do it. I need a, I need a big game from Wayne Gretzky. I need for him to step up here. Oh, we're going to go with Mark Fitzpatrick for game number six. Bill Ranford is going to be in net for the orders. I'm going to click on the sim button. I'm going to close my eyes. It has a tendency. It's not going to change anything. Well, shit, we lost 6-3. Sorry for the bad vocabulary, but yeah. We lost 6-3. Series are tied at three apiece. We were outshot 40-21. to Steve Smith was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Craig Simpson was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Jeff Bukeboom was the third star with two assists. Oilers scored three times in the first period. They were already up 3-0. Then we had a fight between Kelly Bugberger and Randy Ladusser. Then in uh, period number two, Mike Gartner scored from Mike Ridley and Tom Laidla. Then the Oilers scored, and then we scored again. Wayne Gretzky from Mike Gartner and Luke Rabitai. 4-2 for the Oilers after two. There was a fight between Ken Annan and Gerald the Duck as well. Then in the third period, uh, Oilers scored, made it 5-2. Then Wayne Gretzky scored to make it 5-3 from Luke Rabitai and Mike Gartner. And then the Oilers scored again and put the game away. 
We lost 6-3, and there was a fight also between Kelly Bugberger and Randy Ladusser yet again. All right, well, series, the series is going the limit, so. All right, Montreal eliminated Hartford. Detroit trounced the Leafs 8-0, and we lost 6-3. All right. I do not care about the scouting report. Paul Fenton is back. Well, I would prefer Glennie Lee, but we'll take you. We'll take you. Randy Busick has a non-movement clause. Ready? Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to send down Ron Vigay then. Alright, we get Paul Fenton back for game number seven against the Orders. I told you guys that I wasn't super comfortable with that matchup. I would have preferred to face the Flames. All right. This is down to the wire now. Bill Ranford and Mark Fitzpatrick, the goaltenders, were back in LA. We have the home crowd behind us, and we need a double. I'm going to close my eyes for real this time. I'm too scared to look. Oh, dear God, we lost 5-1. All right, well, we're going to need to try to win the Cup next year. We had the best record in the NHL, but, of course, we got a key injury sometimes during the playoffs, and we could not recover. We lost 5-1 Game 7 against the Oilers. They outshot us 38-31. to I need better defense. That's been my problem. The Oilers have outshot me in almost every single game. All right, so Yari Curry came back and uh, was the first star with three assists. Mark Messi was the second star with two goals, and Essa Tikkanen was the third star with a goal and an assist. Set out crowd, of course, and uh, as in with, I think, every single loss that I have had in this series, we scored the first goal. Mike Krushenensky scored from Dan Gratton and Marty McSorley. It was 1-0. After that, it was all orders. There was a fight between Randy Ladusser and Essa Tikkanen. That's pretty much it. All right. All right, Buckberger is suspended for one game. All right, so our most sold jerseys are Wayne Gretzky, Luke Rabita, Mike Gartner, Mike Ridley, and Ronnie Manansen. And in the NHL, Guy Carbono is the most sold jersey. Followed by Craig McTavish and Clint Malarchuk. That's, that's something they might want to look back a little bit at. I don't think that there's any situation where Brian Award outsells Gretzky jerseys ever. All right, so that's that's it for us. So let's see who wins the cup. As long as it's not the Habs, I'm going to be okay with it. Oh, I have to say all of fame nominees. I can urge them by Sack Pete Malovich. I'm going to go with Malovich. There you go. All right. All right, Kelly Bugberger is back from suspension. All right, Montreal beat Pittsburgh four nothing, and then Edmonton beat Detroit three to one. Glenn Ely ready for full contact? Well, I hope not. You're a goaltender. You shouldn't be getting hit too much. Glenny lay back soon. It's too late, buddy. 
Montreal beat Pittsburgh 5-2, Edmonton beat Detroit 5-4, so I believe both teams are up to nothing in their respective series. Uh, Montreal is now up 3-0 in their series, they beat Pittsburgh 2-1, Detroit did win against Edmonton, so that series is 2-1 for the Oilers. I can't believe you need me. Are you kidding me? I needed you like last week. Yeah, the bruised collarbone. Like he had a bruise on his collarbone. Oh, I can't play oh, in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, sit this one out. Oh yeah, that guy Crosby that played in the playoffs with a, a fractured foot, yeah, I don't believe that. Alright, Dave Barr has a memorable game, 3 goals and an assist against the Oilers. Alright, Pittsburgh is still alive, they won 3-2, uh, Edmonton took a 3-1 lead in their series, I guess. so both series are 3-1. All systems go, okay, well, I can go home, I guess. All right. Strong night for Chris Chelios. He had four assists. Oh, Pittsburgh is done. So Montreal is going to the Stanley Cup Finals. I don't like that. Paul McLean is out for six weeks for the for the Red Wings. A torn groin muscle. Well, he's gonna have all summer to recover from that. It's gonna be a Stanley Cup Final between the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens. Edmonton get one game number one for two in Montreal. So they are up one nothing in the series. Montreal won game two three nothing. Series is tied at one. The series is now moving to Edmonton. Martin Xari is injured. What the fuck have you been doing? We're not even playing. Corneal Abrasion. Dude, you need to take better care of yourself when we're not playing. Edmonton won game number 3-4-1, so they are up 2-1 in their series against in the Stanley Cup Finals against the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal tied the series with a 3-1 win, so the series is tied at 2, it's going back to Montreal for game number 5. Montreal won 6-3. Oh boy, that's going to put me in a bad mood. Oh dear God, Montreal won the Stanley Cup. They won 3-2 game number 6 in Edmonton. Oh, Montreal fans are not going to shut up about that, are they? Right, so Montreal won the Stanley Cup. We got eliminated. That was already a bad day. Now Montreal won the Stanley Cup from worst to worst. All right, we're gonna go ahead and advance a little bit. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna sim all the way to the awards in the middle of June and then we'll see what happens.
Martin makes sorry ahead of schedule. All right, all right. Oh, now there's a James Patrick trade rumor. I'd take James Patrick on the team. I just can't get him. He doesn't fit the requirements. You're ready to play, that's great, but, you know, it's almost June, so you ain't playing. Alright, the scouting report we will not take a look at. Right, who sold the most jerseys? For May for the Kings. Gretzky, Robitaille, Gartner, Melanson, and Ridley. Ray Shepard not selling many jerseys. The fans are not really warming up to him. Wait until next season when he scores 50. Ah, uh, yes. The 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 part where we re we realize that John Shabbat score sold more jerseys than Wayne Gretzky. Oh boy. Brian Awards sold the most jerseys in May. Uh, it hurts to it hurts my eyes to see stuff like that. Oh, I get to vote for for four players to get into the Hall of Fame. Those are my choices. Brad Park, Daryl Sittler, Bill Barber, and Steve Schott. You, you are more than welcome to disagree with them. Chances are I'm not going to care very much if you do, but you're more than welcome to. All right. Is Mark Napier about to be moved? can't get him so I don't care that's funny now that the season is over we're seeing trade rumors about players that are above uh, alpha star not a whole lot going on a trade rumor about Charlie Simmer. At this point of his career, had he already played for the for the Kings? Oh yeah. I remember Charlie Simmer playing for the Kings and the Bruins. I don't remember him playing for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And of course, he never played for the Nordiques in real life. That's just what happened here. All right. Right, it's the award ceremony. All right, so let's take a look. So the nominees for the art trophy are Brian Leach, Paul Coffey, and Wayne Gretzky. And who wins it? Paul Coffey won the art. Wayne Gretzky feels slighted. All right, the Connie Smite goes to Chris Chelios. 20 points in 23 games. Defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens, of course, who just won the cup. The Calder is going to Brian Leach. Yes, I guessed right. 
the Norris is going to go to Paul Coffey. I guessed right again. The Selkie is going to go to... Oh, they don't show me the stats here. I'm going to say probably Key Carbonyl. Oh, I guessed right again. The Vizina is going to go to probably... Um, probably Patrick Roy, but I want to say Carrie Taco. <laughs> Guessed right again. GM of the year. It's between me, David Poyle, and Tony Esposito. Who's going to win it? I say I do. I deserve it. Ugh. Tony Esposito win it. won it. Alright, and... Uh, and a Jack Adams for the coach of the year between Brian Murray, Robbie Ftorek, and Gene Ubriaco. Robbie Ftorek won it. All right, so we won at least one thing, I guess. All right, so Gretzky did win the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Maurice Richard, so that's something. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that year. I'm not gonna read all of those. We always already went through the awards. All right, so the All Stars. So the first All Star team was Wayne Gretzky with Yari Corey, Sylvain Sergeant, Brian Leach, Paul Coffey, and Kerry Taco in net. And then the second team is Steve Eiserman with Mike Gartner, Luke Robitaille, Gary Suter, Doug Bodger, and Glenn Ely. All right, the art. Okay. Yeah. All right, and Bob Gainey might be retiring. He's now with the Leafs. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So next time out, I'm going to be doing the preseason and then we're going to, uh, not the preseason, the off season and the preseason more than likely. That should take a little bit. I'm going to need to look at everything. There's going to be the draft as well. So yeah, definitely a few things to look at for sure. All right, I'm saving the game. So as usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in. Sorry we did not win the cup on our first year. That would have been one heck of a challenge that we did that, right? So we get to try again next season with hopefully a better team. Better D, hopefully. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.